Hi guys, having a look at chemical toilets today. Now, Curavan sells two different makes. They're both pretty much the same size. These are about the smallest ones available on the market. Uh, we've chosen small ones because a lot of our customers are putting them into small panel vans. Um, and these will fit underneath a standard height rib seat apparently, but check your own measurements if you're gonna store it there. Um, so we've got the Thetford 335 and the Dometic 972, I think. Yeah, 972. So I uh, just want to give you a quick overview of how they work if you've never used one before. Basically, you've got a lid and you've got a toilet seat and you've got a bowl. You've got a flush handle and you've got an inlet to put your rinse aid into the top and in the bottom section you is where the waste goes once you've used it so you use the toilet once you've finished you've got a little handle here which you pull out which opens the the little release trap door the waste goes down into the bottom into the holding tank close that up again both of these have got a little guide on them to let you know when they're full so when you've got enough waste in there that you need to empty it what you do is on this one it's got a a little latch around the back so you pull that if you lift the top off that can stay in the van and then you would take this part off to the loo block at the campsite for example and to empty it you would undo that swing your waist spout down and then you've got to get air into here to release the airlock on this one um, there's a little arrow and you swing that to the open and then you tip the waist down the loo and then you would rinse this out, swill it around, rinse it out a few times, um, screw that back on and take this back to the van. Now this one is pretty much identical except to release it you pull a little lever and then the top comes off but as you can see there's not a lot of difference there. This one's got a, a little button for the air to release the airlock, that's the only difference. That spout is slightly shorter as well. And then to put it back together again, engage the front and just clip that down. And this one, engage the front and clip the back down. So yeah, pretty much identical in the way they work. Um, the Dometic is slightly more expensive probably or possibly because it's a Dometic they're a bigger brand they can afford to charge higher prices it's also maybe maybe slightly higher quality in terms of the finish it might be slightly more scratch resistant and the seat I notice is a little bit wider which could be more comfortable um, there's a slight difference in the way these flush as well this one as you pump it with every pump you get a jet of rinse aid uh, which goes down into the bowl with this one as you pump it, you're pumping air into the top chamber. They recommend you do this about 15 times. Once you've got it pumped up, you hit the flush button on the front, which then releases a jet of rinse aid down into the bowl. So it's gonna flush more like your home toilet. Apart from that, they're, they're really much of a muchness. So that is my quick comparison of these two port -a -loos. Um Hopefully that will have helped you make a decision on whether you want one and also which one to get. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.